Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Destiny 2 Lightfall video. Today we have another cool guy for you. This one will lead us up to get our brand new exotic glaive. But there is a few quests we're going to have to do before we get into Blue Jay. And SRL is back, baby. And, you know, there's a boss as well. But don't worry, I got you covered right here right now let's go once again thanks for watching everybody without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get started you're gonna have to first be stargazer then maelstrom i have both of these guys up on my channel check out that first video right there to get you started with this quest line now after you finish both of those up you will get blue jay only five steps but this will take you some time. Step number one, we need to go visit Nimbus right over here in Pneumonia. So head over to the Strider's Gate landing zone and speak with your buddy Nimbus. After you've finished speaking with Nimbus, the quest is going to update and here's the deal. Step two, you need to defeat combatants in the current Vex Incursion Zone with the Strand subclass equipped to obtain Shell Call Fragments and open a Terminal Overload Key just to obtain a Polymorphic Engine. Now, that is quite a bit, right? First thing first, I'm going to head over to the Liming Harbor. This is where we're going to have the Vex Incursion Zone for today. So, let's do this. Head over there and just randomly you're going to be picking up these fragments from completing enemies. You can get them in public events or just randomly from around the map in this area. Don't matter if they red bar or yellow bar. It doesn't matter. It's just all orangey and it's pretty frequent. It didn't take me too long to get this part done. I would say about 15 minutes and then I was pretty much good to go. You will need some terminal overload keys, so make sure you have those in your inventory. You get those by completing all these different quests and you'll have some in your inventory. You will have to go into a terminal overload for the next part and here's where lies the challenge. You can have some teammates that just not helpful. You could load into the loading zone and you're just by yourself. What I highly suggest you to do is just keep going in and out. Now, I was here doing this leg last night and I flipped this about maybe six times before I finally got into a match and it was on stage three, right at the end. <laughs> so, you know, GG is good for me, but you know, it may take you a little while to get this one done, depending on if you are playing with teammates or not and or, you know, based on their light level. But after you get this event done, you will need to come over here and open up the chest and you will need a key. You open up the chest on the right hand side to collect the loot. Once you do that, the quest will update and now the partition. Yeah, this quest is awesome. I'm not even going to lie, part three of five and I'm not even going to lie, I had more fun doing this quest than I did doing the campaign of life. I'm just saying, for real, you start on in right over here to that same loading zone we're right over here to the right we want to start this quest in. <laughs> srl is back but we have some modifiers on here you need to pay attention to 15 points of light level all enemies will be higher than you we have champion mobs are threat shielded foes i mean this is like a master nightfall so to speak martyr is going to be here empathat is going to be here as well as solar singe and strand singe but like I said, I got you covered, right? It is very challenging, but if you know what you're doing, you're good to go. So you're good. All right, remember, like I said, SRL is back, baby. Once you start this quest, you're gonna see that, uh, yeah, there's nowhere to go. And to the left, you're gonna see Diffuse the Bomb. It's all gonna be about diffusing bombs this whole round. So get on your track shoes. Hop on your sparrow because SRL is back. Well, kind of, sort of. Now, anybody that's been a Destiny veteran know, uh, wish SRL was back. At least I do. It was amazing. You know, Sparrow Racing League. And that's what this mission is. It's kind of like Rainbow Road, Mario Kart, and I died. Look, you can hit those boosts and they can knock you off to the left. It can knock you off to the right. That was my first death. I died quite a few times doing this and I had fun the whole time. I'm not even going to lie. So, get your SLL race on and it's basically you against the map. Of course, in SRL, it was you. It was other guardians racing towards the ends. You get good loot. Like, come on, Bungie, bring it back. I mean, this is basically SRL, but in a mission. And like I said, it is a whole lot of fun, but there is a countdown timer. 
Okay, and here is a little bit of strategy that I learned along the way. Trust me, it's gonna help you if you're still watching this video. You're in luck because you're good. Hop off your sparrow and take out the enemies every time you see them. It's gonna save you a lot of time. It's gonna save you a lot of deaths because they can easily kill you on your sparrow. And trust me, when you get towards these other parts of this quest, you don't wanna start all the way over because somebody blew you up on your sparrow. It's kind of disappointing and you know, it's very trollish, <laughs> you know, so just do what I do and get off your sparrow and take out the enemies. You're going to have plenty of time. And even right here, you can use your sparrow to get through this. You don't even have to sit here and kill all these enemies. You can literally use your sparrow and speed through all this. Now, will you survive? Um, that's a whole nother story, <laughs> but you can use your sparrow to speed through this. Just keep that in mind. But there is a countdown timer. And you must defuse the bomb. This is going to repeat quite a few times. And they get a little bit more challenging until you get towards the end where you're probably going to need a little bit of help. But like I said, I got you covered. So if you're watching this video and you think I'm watching this video for specifically this, well then, you know, I got you. Now you see how I just spawned in and died? I did this for a reason. Because this little last part, you got 16 seconds to defuse the bomb. And there is just a ton of enemies ever, including two giant cannons. I mean, I tried this so many times and I died over and over and over. But during that, I developed a nice strategy and I was thinking to myself, I can just go to the left or to the right and just duck around all of them. But it's going to take you a while to do this. See, I got 18 deaths right here. When you die, you don't start right there. You start all the way over back on your sparrow. So. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, you die once, you're like, yeah, all right, cool, cool. You die twice, you're like, all right, man, this is taking too long. You know, so trust me when I tell you this, you follow the little tips and I'll guide you through this video and you get to go. Jump off your sparrow, kill the guys. You don't have to kill all of them, but trust me, you don't want them shooting you off your sparrow and killing you, especially after you got through a damage phase on the boss or you're right at the end. It just sucks. So, like I said, you got plenty of time, no worries. Now, when you get to this part, you don't have to go up the middle. I was gonna try this again for the last time and pop my super, it's a bad idea. But having your super is a great idea. So I got my super. You can either go to the left or you can go to the right and just jump around all of them. You know, it's gonna save yourself a lot of time and damage. Now, when I get right here, see that cannon is just turning on me, bam! Hit him with that strand or use one of your grenades to lift them up in the air. And boom, just like that, all you have to do is defuse the charge. But it moved on me. The charge moved on me. I went to go defuse it and bam, got shot and it took me out of it. So I died. But I defused the charge, baby. Oh yeah, it wasn't a super clean run, but you get the gist of it. Jump to the left or to the right and you get to go. Make sure you have your super though and defuse the charge. Now we are at the final boss. And this one can be a little bit hectic but I've got you covered. Now, here's the thing. When you first spawn in, he's gonna spawn in a whole bunch of enemies. But also, there's gonna be tons of missiles dropping down on you. Like I said, you can be a little bit confused. <gasps> Calm down. Just breathe, trust me. You got this. It's super easy. Just think of this as a huge public event, a cabal public event. Now, you're gonna be seeing that different missiles raining down from you, just like you see in other cabal public events. You want to lean to the left or lean to the right when that happens and get out of the way. You really don't want to sit in the middle because it can hit you right here. But here's the thing. You really don't want to be focusing on the boss. So he's going to spawn in some enemies. You want to take out all of the enemies first and at the same time avoid those blasts jumping from the left or jumping to the right and then do damage to the boss. After you pull him down to the very first health bar, he's gonna pull up another SRL. But remember, like I said, you got plenty of time. Trust me, I've died on this part and it's very annoying knowing that I got through all of this and I got shot off my sparrow. So just jump off your sparrow, take out the enemies along the way, you got plenty of time and boom, you're right back into this. This time, he's gonna call in some legionnaires. Same thing, same rules gonna apply. He's gonna be calling down those bombs, either stick to the left side of the map or the right side of the map, avoiding that, and at the same time, take out the ads. That's your number one objective. Then after you clear out all the ads, everything's gonna be a whole lot easier. All you have to do is now just focus on the boss and shoot him, hide behind these little blocks like so, 
and avoid the rain of fire that is coming down from you as well. And all you have to do is do this two more damage phase time and you pretty much are good to go. See, I told you I got you back. I developed a little bit of strategy and if you're still watching this video, hey, you're good to go. You're gonna get this on your very first try. Trust me when I tell you this. It's easy once you know what to do and I developed a little bit of strategy to help you out. And that's why I'm showing this full little boss fight because you know I didn't want to cut it because it, it just sucks when you see a video and it's cut and be like, you cut through the part that I needed help on. So once again, I got you back. And I almost fell off right there. Like I said, you need to be careful on these little jump pads, right? These little boosters. Jump off your sparrow, take out the ads along the way, and see, you have plenty of time to defuse the bomb. And just like that, we're on to the very last phase. But this time it will be a little bit tricky because once you take his health down to a certain amount, He's gonna jump right over in here with you. Now, luckily for me, I had my super ready and I already had my grenade locked and loaded with my new exotic weapon. So I blast him and when he jumped over here, I hit him with a grenade. Good luck with that. Just keep that in mind when you take his down, his power, uh, eventually he will jump over there. A little tea back for you, GG. And just like that, we're done. Almost, at least anyway. Collect your loot, and now we need to return to the Hall of Heroes to repair the Blue Jays Memorial. Step number four of five. Told you it was gonna take some time, but I got you back. Head over to the Hall of Heroes and repair that lovely memorial. After you re finish repairing the memorial, return to Quinn to discuss the next steps. The next step is finally our exotic quest to get our new exotic glaive for Season of Defiance. But congratulations. You have done it, my dude. But for right now, it's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Gaming. Blow up a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.